I'm at Halka Sanat Projects in a place called Moda in Istanbul, which is run by this amazing woman, Epek, and the team, who were all amazing. So I've been here two months, two and a half months, really, um, and it's just been mega intense. I've done nothing but get up every morning, I'll go running, and then work, 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 and it's just felt fantastic. I first encountered Siakalem at the Royal Academy of Arts. There was an exhibition in 2005 called Turks, and it was the treasure collection from Top Kapi Palace. But within it was this guy, Siakalem, and the work was just so idiosyncratic and different, and it immediately fascinated me. They say that he was a storyteller as well as an artist. Originally the work was, would have been a scroll before it was cut up and put in a book. Each little miniature scene has got so much depth of story in it. He's at the edge of discovering the three-dimensional drawing of people. By working with sculpture and trying to make things float in their own way, I'm trying to explore around the story, trying to explore around the character and also trying to place it in the present. The more I walk around, the more I see the material, the more I want to deal with that material, and the more I have to discover. I decided to cast these concrete blocks the same size as the Siakalem fragment that's in the book at Top Cape. My mind opened at that point because I thought, actually what you're doing there is you're dealing with the architecture and you've brought it into the presence using this material. I made one piece of work that was just like rows and rows and rows of sticks. And the reason why I made that is because I just wanted to take all the sticks off the characters. They've got walking sticks, different lengths, different colours, different ornamentation on them. So I took all the sticks off them all and I just kind of made this little assemblage of sticks and that in itself could be this piece of work finished. It would be a pretty empty gallery but that's, that would work. So I've done a lot of sewing and I've been making little puppets which I've quite enjoyed. When you look at the tradition of storytelling in the Turkish culture as opposed to storytelling in the Siakalim, there are lots of puppets. The big story from here is Hadji Avat and Karagos which is supposed to be like the origins of the nation. At the moment, I've just made a handful of sculptures. In the end, I've 37 sculptures, and where I've filled the gaps in by using tags and things like that, I'm probably going to replace them, or I might even leave them in, I don't know. In the end, it's just going to grow. It's going to become more and more stimulating, more and more little exciting corners, because that's the thing about say, say Kalim's work is, you sort of look at it and then you suddenly notice that somebody is holding something in their hand and you can't fit quite figure out what it is and then it changes the story entirely. And in a way the city's like that, you think you know something and then suddenly it does something completely new.